There is a sense of urgency at the British Antarctic Survey in Cambridge. Here, 14,000 kilometers from the South Pole, scientists are familiarizing themselves with an Antarctic research center before they head out on their mission. Like the ice sheets, their scientific strategy is shifting from monitoring changes in Arctic environments to delivering the most accurate prediction data to inform policy on climate change. Things are changing much faster than they have before, so we're losing sea ice, the temperature rising faster in the polar regions than any other part of the planet. We're finding parts of the ice sheet are melting now uh, and possibly going into irreversible melting, so they will contribute to sea level. So there's a lot of urgency now in what's happening in our science in the polar regions and how they're going to affect the rest of the planet. From autonomous vehicles like the submersible Boaty McBoatface, named in a public vote, to the research vessel Sir David Attenborough, which is essentially a floating laboratory, and artificial intelligence, including creating a digital twin of the entire continent. AI will improve predictions and sea level rises, giving policymakers a tighter focus on what they need to tackle. We let the AI see everything and look at all the maps and how sea ice has changed over the last 40 years and then pro project forward. And it was able to do that better than the other models that we've been using up until now. Scientists here say we can't stop climate change. We've preloaded the atmosphere with carbon dioxide and methane so the earth will keep warming and the ice will keep melting even faster around Antarctica. But sea level rises won't be linear. Instead, we could see sudden big jumps. All they can do is give policymakers the best models of what is to come. A key part of this new strategy is studying ice cores brought back from Antarctica and stored here in minus 25 degrees. Now, these particular pieces of ice contain air bubbles from 225 years ago, but they can go back 800,000 years and they hold concentrations of greenhouse gases that will help scientists predict the future of climate change. These scientists endure the most inhospitable places on the planet to make the rest of it more hospitable for humanity and hope their hard work won't be wasted. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera, Cambridge.